happy Thursday. I'm actually on my way to the gym. It is going to be 6.30. I woke up at 6. And I'm going to be doing a salon vlog. I am extremely busy today and I'm also doing a house call after work. So I wanted to film for you guys along with. This is a typical day on the Thursday where I wake up at 6 a.m., go to the gym, get ready for work, work all day. I was planning on doing a morning routine, uh, like summer edition, but I figured I would do like an all day vlog today because I am very busy. So I'll bring you guys along with. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to the gym and do a really intense workout. <laughs> I am finished with my workout. Whew. My earbuds want to fall out. Ah! I'm just gonna take them off. <sighs> All right, I'm finished with my workout. I couldn't film that much because somebody was in the gym. 80% of the time I'm alone, but somebody was in the gym and I just didn't feel like bringing up my camera. But I had a really good workout. Now I'm headed back to my apartment. I'm gonna head back to my apartment and take a shower. I'm gonna wash my hair because it's really dirty. I'm gonna wash my hair, make a smoothie, and then start doing my makeup, getting ready for the day. So I will check in with you guys after my shower. I am out of the shower. I made my smoothie, protein smoothie. I ran out of my protein powder, so I had to use Ryan. And his is vanilla. I'm not a fan, but I gotta drink it. It is 7.46 a.m., so I'm gonna start doing my skincare, my makeup. Ryan is still sleeping, so I'm trying to be quiet. It's hard. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly do my skincare makeup, and I will check with you guys after my makeup. Also, my favorite thing to do getting ready in the morning before work is watching YouTube. So I will, I'm gonna watch Taylor Wynn. So usually I will watch a makeup video, or not a makeup video. Usually I watch a YouTube video as I'm getting ready, like doing my makeup. And this to me is like my morning coffee, my morning yoga. It just sets my morning on a good note. <laughs> So my makeup is done. It is now, I was watching Juicy Jazz vlogs, but it is now 8.20 a.m. And usually this is like the time where I'm finished done with my makeup. So I'm just gonna go through my planner and figure out what I have to do today, tomorrow, and for the rest of the days. I need to pay some bills first, adulting. <laughs> it is now 9 a.m. and I just finished walking the dogs. And I'm gonna take my vitamins. I just have my seed probiotics and then my rituals for women i've been taking this for a hot minute now i really love it and i actually had to pause my subscription because i have like three months worth right now um so i'm gonna pause it and then restart it when i need more but these are my favorite vitamins so i'm gonna take these um drink some water and then this is the time when i start prepping my lunch I've been making my lunch for months now and like my lunch for work and I really like it. I spend less money, I don't order Uber Eats and I just make sure I like fuel my body with like really good food. So, and lately I've been making like a Lunchable type lunch. I'm gonna film like a full blown 6 a.m. morning routine. 
The last one I did was back in the winter time. And I feel like I think it'll be fun to do like a summer edition. So basically what I do is I do a turkey and cheese roll up. So I use boar head. Every week it switches, but lately I've been doing the buffalo chicken with the Vermont white cheddar cheese. So I'll do a slice of this and a slice of the chicken. I'll also add a couple of these good thin crackers or gluten free just to give my roll up a little bit of a crunch. And then I like to put a little parfait like with Greek yogurt, granola, and berries on this side of my Lunchable. Only because I want to get more protein in my diet. So this is just plain Greek yogurt, no flavor. It just has a ton of protein in it. I'll drizzle some chia seeds on it for extra fiber. I have my prepped berries here that I do every week now. And I'm just gonna top it with some raspberries. It's my favorite way to top my yogurt. And then I'll throw in a couple strawberries in there and some blueberries. Stormy loves blueberries, but she's not here right now. She's licking the shower water. If you know, you know. And then I have my favorite granola. This is the Purely Elizabeth Vanilla Chocolate Chip. I honestly like any flavor from this brand, but this granola is gluten-free and it's so good. I'm just gonna put it in the corner. That way it doesn't get too soggy throughout the day. I don't have that much granola. This is what the Lunchable looks like. My lunch meat, a little bit of crackers, and then my yogurt. Usually I try to have mandarins, like orange, so I can put on this side, but I don't have any at the moment, so I just have a little bit of crackers. Stormy, is it blueberry time? She loves blueberries. Let's give her some blueberries. Luke doesn't care for them, but... You want some blueberries? Good girl, let's show them a trick. Up. Oh. <laughs> good girl my little gremlin i'll show you guys my outfit real quick very basic these pants are from sheen sheen and i have like my little air force ones they're nice and colorful i did wash my hair but i'm gonna blow dry it when i get to work so it's kind of like air drying right now and then this watch band is from sheen everything here is from sheen except my shoes <laughs> then i have my favorite earrings from amazon this is from bubble bar and I'm gonna put some perfume on. This is the perfume I've been mixing. It's from Dossier. It's the Woody Sage. And then the Musky Green Tea. One of them is a dupe for Creed, and the other one is a dupe for J. Malone. So I totally forgot I'm doing a house call after work today, and I need to get some color. So I'm gonna go on my little stash. This is my little stash of color I have here. Um, we do use Bella Professional at work, so that's kind of what I stick to, because that's what I know best. So I have my little bag here. I'm gonna get the six volume developer for toner. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think I'm doing bleach, so I'm just gonna refresh her color. So I'm gonna grab some color here. We're gonna go with this one, 616. What is this? This is six. Today's gonna be a very long day, but at least it's gonna fly by. All this here. Yeah, so I will be working at the salon up until 6 p.m. and then after I'm gonna walk over to a like condo next door to do one of my good friends slash clients hair. I'm gonna cut his hair and then I'm also gonna cut his like future wife's hair, which is my really good friend slash client. I love her. She's so humble and so sweet. She's like a sister to me. So I'm going to do that for them and then hopefully be, be done before 9 p.m. today because I want to watch Big Brother. Um, Ryan and I are obsessed with Big Brother right now. If any of you guys watch Big Brother, let me down below because I'm just obsessed with that show. So I think I have everything. Bowl, brush, color, developer, 
two bowls, brush. Yeah. Oh, color tape. Bye, Lukey Pookie Bear. I love you. Bye, Stormy. Be good girl. I'm going to see you later tonight, okay? Play with all your toys. Love you, Luke. This is my first client of the day and we're gonna be doing a lived in ashy balayage. It is quite big grown out. Her end goal is to be a icy, icy lived in balayage. Obviously we're gonna do it the healthiest way which is in session. So here I am foiling. I did add Olaplex into her bleach to keep her hair nice and healthy throughout the process. It does take time, especially if you have very dark, dark, like pretty much pitch black hair. Um, you just have to stay consistent, um, make sure you take care of your hair at home and you will get to your end goal. Here I am taking out the foils at the bowl. I don't like to leave the bleach on for more than 45 minutes. Sorry, Luke is crying over here. I don't like to leave the bleach on for more than 45 minutes because in my opinion, I do think the hair stops lifting after that point. So you don't wanna push the hair and destroy it. So here I am taking them out and this is me toning her hair. If you guys are familiar with Wella Color, I did use a mixture of 960 from Illumina and I mixed it with 986 from Color Touch. is the after it looks so so good it's definitely a ashy blonde balayage it's not her end goal but we're gonna be doing another session soon this is my next client we're gonna be doing a accent foil which is a face frame foil and then I'm gonna be coloring up her grays around her face frame area her hair is so pretty and she looks like Jasmine like Princess Jasmine she's so pretty so here I am doing the foils and then I'm just coloring in between where her grays are. We did decide to do permanent today because her grays do drive her crazy. So the semi was just not cutting it for her. So I'm just touching up her grays around her face and then we're just gonna let her process for a good 45 minutes. Not putting heat on her hair because she's gonna be sitting for a while so she doesn't need the heat. Now that she's done processing, I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo her. When I do permanent root colors, I do like to shampoo twice just to make sure all the color residue is out of her scalp. For her all over toner, I'm gonna be doing Color Touch again in the shade 871. She does want to achieve more of a beigey blonde, but not too blonde and not too dark. I love this toner so much. I did use this on her last time, so I'm just refreshing everything up and then her money piece. This is the after. As you can see, her money piece is nice and refreshed. Her grays are 100% covered. And I'm just applying a little bit of oil to soften everything up and finish her style. She looks so pretty. Doesn't she look like Princess Jasmine? Love it. This is my next client. We're gonna be doing her tape-ins. She comes in every seven weeks for her maintenance. This is the before. I already took out all the tape-ins and this is it before I blow dry it or before I wash it, my bad. And those are the tapes. I need to retape them. So here I am blow drying her hair. I do like to clarify it three times just to make sure all the tape residue is out of her hair before I go in and apply them back into her scalp. Before I apply the tape-ins back in, I'm going to be trimming up her face frame area. So I'm just going to be slide cutting and making sure everything is even on both sides.
This is the after, it looks so pretty. We do use the extensions for length and a little bit of color. So fun fact, if you don't want to bleach your hair, you can just use extensions to add a little bit of lightness into your hair. And then as you can see here, um, the tapins are back on the root, ready for the next seven weeks. Hey guys, so it is now 6.07 p.m. I just finished with work. I'm gonna head over to my client slash friend's condo to do a hair call. I'm gonna be doing a men's cut and as well as like a color melt refresh color type situation. But the day's almost done, I'm kinda happy. Um, today went by really smoothly. Yeah, today was a great day. Um, so I'm gonna head over there, hang out with them. I might record a little bit, if not, I'm gonna try my best to record a little bit of footage like behind the scenes, but yeah because it is in their home, so that might be kind of weird, but I'm gonna try. And then after, I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, so it is now the next day. Unfortunately, I did not finish the vlog last night because when I went to my friend's house to do their hair, we were talking, we were just so in the moment, talking about life, catching up, and sure enough, it was like 10 p.m. and I didn't even pick up the camera, so I got home like, like 10.30. And Ryan was, Ryan was already in the couch, getting ready to go to bed, so I didn't want to film. So the night did end pretty late, but it was a good day. Everything went really smoothly, all my clients loved their hair. And I'm glad I was able to film some footage for you guys, so you guys can see a little behind the scenes of what I do at work. Um, like a typical busy day. I normally don't do house calls, but for them I do, because they're special to me. I love them so much. So yeah, I just thought it would be an interesting day to film. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry I didn't end the vlog, but here's the ending. Let me know down below what you guys thought. If you guys want to see another like productive, busy day at the salon, let me know. I can definitely film more. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I don't know why I have my watch in my hand. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I got, I got, I got, I got, baby, I got you.